Hello, I'm Ginkgo Sequoia and I'm author of the book The Tree Mystic. Today's extract is a sort of part two uh, relating to the story of Adam and Eve. It's with Solly the Tree Mystic and Bruno, one of the volunteers. We also learn early in the book that Solly wished to acquire a thousand wives for himself and also a means to pay for them. Uh, Solly was lying by the coconut trees when uh, Bruno approached him. Hello Bruno, what would you like to talk about today? Guilt or jealousy? Bruno poked him in the ribs. Actually, I wanted to know why I had to take my shoes off before I was allowed to enter the temple. You told me you would tell me later. I'm still not convinced about your conversation relating to Adam and Eve either. Oh. I think that the priests or worshippers wanted you to take your shoes off out of respect for God. However, I am sure that God would prefer you to respect yourself, for you are the temple that God resides in. That makes sense. That was much simpler than I had expected. Solly took a deep breath and then blew out. Bruno laughed. I feel a butt coming. When we spoke about Adam and Eve, we concluded that they had to put their clothes back on. Although we didn't necessarily agree why. That is correct. So now we have a quandary. There are some people that tell us to cover our nakedness. However, there are others who advise that we should do the opposite. They say that when you are awake, you will be compelled to take something off. Permit me to explain. When you awaken, it's an epiphany. It's the moment that you wake up and see the sacredness in all things, yourself, the flowers, the sun, the rain, the rivers and the seas. When you are awake, you also realise that many of the beliefs that were imposed on you when you were younger are not true. Then you will desire to remove them. Some people say that when this happens, you will feel compelled to take something off. You might just want to take your boots off and run barefoot in the dust. However, you might feel that you have no choice but to take all your clothes off and dance in the rain. At the point at which you are awake, conscious and possibly naked, you will feel no shame, no guilt and no inhibition. You will have cleared the devil from your mind. You will have uprooted the tree of knowledge. Now there will be no forbidden fruit. You can take a bite and experience the frisson and the thrill. Now you can make love to Ling and Apolline. In fact, you can take a thousand wives if you want. However, you can't do any of this without anxiety or guilt until you embrace non-attachment. Non-attachment? What is that? Non-attachment. Not just to your home or your work or your personal belongings, but non-attachment to the people that you love. It was the Buddha that said, attachment is the cause of suffering. Really? Yes. Anyway, surely it is better to have a thousand wives than invest all your love in one person who may die or perhaps they might leave you. I'm not so sure. I don't think that I want a thousand wives. I want a commitment. I want real intimacy. I want real love. If you take a thousand wives and treat them all as sacred, you can have that too. Can my girlfriend also take a thousand husbands? Of course. 
but then I would be jealous. Which is why you must embrace non-attachment. Boom! A coconut fell from the tree and broke the silence. It missed Bruno's head by a few cent centimetres. Sully picked it up and juggled with it. Imagine if that coconut had hit your head and killed you. Now imagine that your girlfriend had a thousand lovers or a thousand husbands. Wouldn't you be happy for her if there were lots of arms to comfort her during her period of mourning? That's all on that little section. You'll read more about Sully's quest for his thousand wives. He feels that they surely can't all leave him. Whether he's right, we'll find out. You can read more about the Tree Mystic at Amazon or at thetreemystic.com. Thank you for watching this video.